Guess what guys, I have Pepsi, and guess what else, I'm back, and guess what else, I'm going to shoot this guy in the mouth, with arrows, I shot him in the eye, not f not the mouth, yeah that's better, <laughs> uh, right so, hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing you another episode, let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, yep, uh, wait, where was I going here, I, s I s I wanted to go this way because I know there's a room here that I can get the compass at. And it's that little s stick of room or whatever you could call it, like... Yeah, I guess it looks like a... like an antenna or something. Like if you look at it as a, at it as a head, a head shape, it would be on the back of the head, wouldn't it? So it'd be like more, more or less like an antenna and it an antenna, that's the best way I can actually describe this little thing here, or this little hallway. I should have just said it was a hallway, damn it. <laughs> Not just calling it an antenna thing. Anyway, what's inside here? Hey, we should hide in that chest, hide for a billion years, and wait for a yeti to come, so then we can jump out and say, SURPRISE! And then just burn him to death with a flamethrower, because yetis are made of ice and fire against ice is super effective. Hell yeah, and there's a ball right in front of my face. Nothing like balls in your face in the morning. Nah, that's... <laughs> that's just disgusting, Lewis. <laughs> you can see down from here. Isn't that the room where we saw Darunia? I believe it is, isn't it? Yeah, because that's the pillar we're meant to pull down. Dude, get out of my face, will you? Just... Go away, I thought I, ki I killed your friend. You should fear me. I am I am the ultimate predator against all bats, so... Yeah, you drive me batty, I'll drive you batty. Ugh, oh, God. The fire! It burns! Even though I have a fire suit. What is this craziness? What is this madness? This is madness. Oh, God. So many faces everywhere, shooting flames. Dude, stop that crap. I know you like fart and gas, but you don't need to like fart it out your mouth. If that was possible, instead of farts, instead of burps being burps, farts would be... No, instead of burps being coming out your mouth, farts would come out your mouth, and then burps would come out your ass. Or maybe your penis. But, nah, <laughs> that's just... Nah. God, this is disgusting. What am I talking about? I should really keep my mouth shut <laughs> about stuff like that, but... Oh, well. It's funny. Commentary. I'm just trying to... Anyway, here's a switch. Here's a switch! Here's a witch. A witch. And there's a face. Another... Another face. Yeah, you gotta be really quick on this. Just try not to get... Just try to be... You know, you, well, you, yeah, just find your way round. Like, there's those fireballs that appear, and there's only a certain path that you can go to to actually get to that door. Now, what's this? Oh, this would be a great video to post on April Fools, because watch what happens. Oh man, <laughs> pranked me, door. You just pranked me. Ganondorf's getting all smart on us now. It's a place of fake doors. Yeah, well, what do we do here? We just use the Goron special crop to blow that crap out of my face. Holy crap, what is that thing emerging from the fire? Oh god, it's a f dancing thing. Oh, it's that dancing thing that Goron was mentioned about. Yeah, basically what you do here is just... Oh, I didn't know you could use bombs on this guy. Yeah, just go all out with this... I don't know what this thing is. I think it's called a... I don't know. What is it called? I don't care what it's called. All I care about is killing it. Whatever it is. Is he on the other side? I wonder if I can get him from here. That'd be kind of beast if I could. I can't. What? No, that's craziness. No, don't come at me. Stay right where you are, sir. Because I'm about to shoot you with my arrows. God, you're crazy. You must think this is like some kind of ice skating ring. Dude, what am I doing? I don't want to be placing bombs. 
Yeah, use your bow. Dude. 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 I was shooting at him. Oh my god, I ran out of arrows. Ugh, I'm gonna have to use my hook shot then. My arrows literally missed. Every arrow that I shot at him missed. And I don't want to keep placing bombs, you stupid C buttons. Yes. Right. You're mine. And those flames can go away too. Go away from me, dude. Good thing is I have a fairy, so I don't really care if I die. I have three fairies, so I'm okay for now. Yeah, you're not getting away from me this time, dude. No escape. You cannot escape my wrath. For I am your god. You shall obey me. It's funny the way how these things die, actually. Look. <laughs> Explode. Be self-destructed like an electrode from Pokemon. God, I'm making so many Pokemon ref references. <laughs> and the flo floating face takes us up to a hidden room in the upper area of the dungeon, I imagine. I don't think I've actually ever got all the gold skull to those in this dungeon. I'm not entirely sure if I have. Wait, what progress are we making here? Are we making any progress? I believe we are at the moment. That's good. Alright, so basically what you want to do here, you can either use your bombs or you can use your hook shot. It doesn't really matter which method you actually use here, but you can make it either way. So if you're fast enough and don't fall off the edge. But I don't see any reason what <laughs> What? <laughs> no way did that just happen to me. I just said ugh. Yeah, majorly trolled. That wasn't even my fault. I didn't even do that on purpose. Yeah, just ignore everything I was just saying about walking off the edge by accident, because obviously I just did it. And I was about to do it again, <laughs> just then. But luckily I turned my control stick to the other way. Anyway. <clears throat> now this room is really fun. It's like a speed run kind of thing that you have to do in this room. Basically, I don't think there's any gold sculptors in here to actually collect. I think there's only just this one chest which is all the way up there. So, the best thing to do is here is just basically get rid of all these keys so they don't become a problem. And I don't have any arrows. Oh, bummer. Bummer. Well, I'm going to have to do this without arrows then. And I don't really want to fall off either, so we're going to have to be very careful here. And by careful, I mean... Very, very, very careful. Yeah. Jesus. Right, okay, I'll redo that again. <laughs> that was terrible. I just wish that cutscene didn't trigger, because the camera seems to really screw me over. Right, I really need to focus here, because these platforms are ridiculously skinny. And I made it. Oh, cool. Nice. I made it on the second try, but the first try wasn't really an attempt. Considering I missed the platform trying to get on there. And here we are. You found the Megaton Hammer. The ultimate hammer that can destroy anything, crush bones of... Uh, crush bones and break metal. But literally, this thing is really useful. <laughs> you will be using this a lot. I know I will be to get some stuff like gold sculptors and things like that. Look at that. Awesomeness. Alright, so basically what you can do with this thing is break things with it, obviously. Like boulders that you can blow up before with your ordinary bombs. So, because this thing can break boulders that you can't blow up with bombs, and it can do this as well. Push platforms down. <clears throat> We're coming quite close to the end of the dungeon here, guys, actually. Yeah. It's been fun, actually. I've really enjoyed doing this dungeon. But um, I think I'm going to end the episode here and carry on with this last part of the dungeon in the next video, because I like this last part of the dungeon. It's pretty pretty cool. Um, well, the last few rooms are, anyway. So anyway, guys, in the next episode, I guess we'll be pretty much finishing up the fire temple, getting to the boss room, and... 
then fighting the boss. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.